So, I feel like we wouldn't be out here in a whole other country if it weren't for any sort of creativity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing how you can start with one idea, turn it into another, and branch out and kind of go from there and say, okay, we're going to do things like this now. Somebody likes that. They say, oh, it's creative. Hey, you're doing a good job. You're doing what you love to do. Let's try this out. And you meet new people along the way. I think what I do enriches my life in the sense where I've got to meet a bunch of new people, do a bunch of new things that I've never done before and like I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. I think like what else would I truly be doing sitting at home? I'm not really into sports, although I do, I do enjoy them. I'm not a big sports guy. I'm not a real big political guy. I'm not a real big, not really big into anything other than music itself. So I feel like if I weren't doing this, my life would just, I couldn't even think of my life without that, to be honest. Yeah, kind of yeah uh, I just think like, uh, I don't know, working nine to five, you know, uh, this, this beats it any day, you know, uh, being able to travel you know, being able to play music for kids that you don't know, and and it's it's funny because you just connect with people, you know, and, and especially these kids, like they'll come out and they'll talk to you, and and you just feel a connection right away, you know, and it's all because of music, you know, and, and if it wasn't for the music, you know, we wouldn't be here, we we wouldn't travel, we wouldn't do anything, you know, and, and I think that connects with creativity because, you know, um, a lot of people don't listen to the, a lot of people like like normal people don't listen to the music that we make you know and and it takes a select group of people you know to to bring us out to Europe and, and be able to do what we do you know and and I think I think that that goes along along uh, the way with creativity and stuff yeah touring, even like touring the United States and stuff like that it's like you know you meet different people like a lot of my best friends I've met through music through shows you know what I mean even though I don't listen to as much hardcore as I used to really at all as much anymore I still love the shows, I still have a scene that I support, and if it weren't for the music or the kids, then there'd really be nothing to go off of, so you need both to kind of bring everything together, so I think so much in hardcore and what we do, it's like not creative in the sense where we're doing something totally different, we're inspiring others to, you know, make certain changes in their lives and do this, like some people pick up on it, but I think it's more so the bringing together of certain groups of people and mm -hmm enjoying and having a good time rather than focusing on problems like work and all that you know like you know we work our asses off to even be here so we're not here for the money because we have to pay money to be here yeah. we're in the hole pretty much when you think about it that way but mentally we don't care we're not worried like oh we just spent a few thousand dollars to get out here and blah 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 like all our expenses you know like are pretty much going to pay for our trip and still be negative in the end but that doesn't matter because money's yeah. not our end game money's cool but that's why i have a job back home because i make my own money i work i do what i need to do to make money to do this it'd be cool to make money off music i mean someday hey who knows maybe i'll branch out and do something else which i mean i'd like to but as far as like hardcore what i'm doing now it's like money's not my end game it's the experience it's you know the passion the love that kind of drives us and that's why we're here you know, that we're getting interviewed by some gentleman we've never met before, but he's cool as fuck. You know, he's nice. I met him through other friends that, a friend who was doing a, a cancer benefit in a village out, out of cop bus. He's like, oh, I have a friend. He's going to be here showing Frank for tomorrow. He's going to interview you. He's, you know, telling me all about it. Very friendly people telling us they love us. And, you know, like last night we played to seven kids. Not, not a lot at all. Like, you know, some bands are probably like, oh, fuck that. You know, because I've booked bands before, way back in the day, who played for like 20 kids and like pissed. They're like, oh, what the fuck? You know, but they still got their money and everything, but mm -hmm. they're still like upset that there weren't many people there. But I'd rather play to seven people who give a shit, who are having a great time, than to 100 people or 200 people who are just standing there like, like don't, with, without a care, you know? I, I'd rather play to people who are into it and who legitimately are fortunate for us to be there. Yeah. And it's funny because. Uh, even most of our friends even, uh, coming out of the U.S., out, you know, everywhere, you know, out of uh, different countries, you know, um, the guys in Distant Tomb, you know, they were just in the U.S., you know, and, and uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not easy to make a lot of money, you know, touring with this kind of music, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't make money, actually, you know. A lot of people come out negative, you know. I'm going to come out negative going home, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, it, it's worth it, man. It's, it's worth it 100%. It's worth it 
you know, to be able to be able to connect with people, to be able to to I'm gonna go home and you know, I'm gonna add people on social media and stuff that I met here and, and you know, I'm gonna be cool with them. You know, if I ever come back, you know, we already have that connection and, and people will help you out just like if they came to our to our country, you know, we would help them out and that's just the way it is and, and that's why I love doing what I what we're doing. We book shows in our hometown, Phoenix, uh, Arizona. We're from North Phoenix, uh, Arizona, United States. Yeah, shout out Arizona Hardcore. Yeah, we love Arizona Hardcore. We love all the Southwest Hardcore. We've met some really good friends. Like our, one of our guys with us is from Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of good friends there now. And, you know, like a couple bands I mentioned, Liar's Tongue. Love them. Takeover. Really good bands from there. We've got people in Las Vegas. A lot of our friends from out there who've helped us out in the past. A lot of, you know, people that support what we do. New Mexico, California, everywhere, Colorado, a lot of great people out there, so we appreciate everything they've done, mm -hmm. and we like to give it back, too. When we book shows in our hometown, it's not for the money we need to make money to pay the bands to stay on the road, that's our point, but we're not greedy, you know what I mean? We will give, or any money that we have extra is not in our pockets, but it helps yeah. the band. Like, we, we had a fundraiser on a Tuesday night. Yeah. Yeah, we had the club going up on a Tuesday, for money t for us to make money to help come here like donations pretty much you know we charge I don't even remember the amount but everything we collected went to the venue of course and then went to us to help with our expenses and that money like really helped out on a Tuesday night we had like over like, we had like okay. 70 kids no it was a hundred kids like it I was guess, like 95 to 100 kids yeah it was a lot of a lot of kids on a Tuesday night to come support us because you know they see we're out here doing our thing we're out here repping Arizona we're like loving where we come from we represent because there's certain bands from certain places that they don't give a shit where they're from they're like oh they never even mention where they're from mm -hmm. and you know if it weren't for our scene we wouldn't even be where we're at now yeah. for the kids supporting us so that's what we do we do that's what gives us our creative juices i mean what influences me when i'm on stage and stuff is i i see the way other people move on stage like a lot of rappers and stuff or i see the things they talk about like a lot of certain groups I like and it gives me a certain mentality and it puts me in a zone where I can write these lyrics where I can put emotion onto a piece of paper or sometimes on my phone I hate typing on my phone but sometimes it's easier yeah. nothing beats a paper and pen but it gives me a feeling like no other and I'm able to come out here and do wherever the hell we're right now we're in Frankfurt and play for kids I've never seen this before we make lots of merch we, we usually have like zero t-shirts like one maybe <laughs> yeah. one shirt we don't we have, never have anything <laughs> No, we're, we're like so not legit in that mm -hmm. um, that sense, but <laughs> now we came stocked up. I mean, we owe money for it still. We still got to pay it back, so the money we get for it is pretty much going to pay for it. But, you know, now it's like we have a bunch of T-shirts and sweatshirts and jerseys, and it feels good to know that, you know, kids want to buy our stuff and wear it, and they see, oh, you know, what's that? No altars? Never heard of them. And, you know, now kids are going to probably want to check them out. They're going to see kids wearing it, and they'll kind of build us up for, you know, more. Like, it'd be cool to be to have a lot of kids like us, and to be more known, that'd be great, but, you know, but that's, at the end of the day, that's not why we're here. We're not here for the money, we're not here for the fame. I, I think any hardcore band would say that. There's no hardcore band that I know from Arizona, from the Southwest region, California, that's like, oh, we're doing it for the money. But at times, you need the money in order to keep doing it. So if it weren't for the kids giving the bands the money, then a lot of this shit wouldn't even be happening. This yeah. guy wouldn't be right here, right now, filming us. Yeah. He wouldn't, you know? But he paid. He probably lives. How far do you live from here? I, I mean, you no, know. like 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes by public transit. Yeah, so <laughs> this guy's taking public transit to come here and film us and support hardcore because that's what he loves and that's what he does. You know, and for anybody to knock on anybody for liking hardcore or, you know, like, oh, you know, you do, do music. Like, sometimes I feel like my parents aren't really interested in what I'm doing understandable you know i'm not in college i'm not trying to you know get like a really good job and stuff at least right now but you're in europe yeah but they see that now yeah they <laughs> see that now and they're like okay cool you know they i think now more so they're, they they see me out here and they're like all right you know he's doing what he loves and they're more understandable i don't know how your parents S feel but. same way my mom my mom is really strict uh christian and you know she obviously she doesn't like she loves me but she doesn't like what i do but you know, now she knows, you know, I'm, I'm actually, you know, touring, touring the world, you know. This year I'm going to tour the world and, and it's with the music I make and, and, and you know, she, she, has to, she accepts it now. So, so it's, it's, it's really cool, man, that, that uh, 
you know, hardcore bands, like, I, I don't think hardcore bands will, will ever do it for the money. And, and <laughs> you're not, you're, if you're in a hardcore band, you're not making money, really, that's really what it is, you know? But, um, yeah, I'm really happy, and I'm really grateful for, for, for everybody and everybody that supports us, and for us to be able to come out here. It's pretty much what it comes down to, and as far as hardcore goes, I mean, we're death metal influenced, uh, you know, sort of, you know, we have beat down aspects to our music as well, but at the end of the day, we're a hardcore band because that's how we became together. Those are the shows we book, those are the shows we go to, our hardcore shows, and I don't think it really match it matters so much with the style, but more so the message and the all-around mentality that you have when you're going to shows and stuff, because... We don't really play a lot of metal shows. We don't really play because, you no. know, that's not really our scene. We, we like shows. some of the music, but yeah, we play hardcore shows. And, you know, some hardcore kids, you know, they're like, oh, you know, a little heavy. It's a little different. Not so much into it, but they still support us because they're our friends. Yeah. And they like what we do. Just as they get any of our friends. Like, shout out to some bands. Like, right now in Arizona, we got some friends coming up. Uh, this band called Iniquity. We got our friends um, called Easy Money. Yeah, I call them cheesy money. Cheesy money. Cheesy money. Kind of funny, but they they probably don't think it's that funny. But we joke around. We have a good time. You know, last wish. Last wish. Arms reach. Um, damn, there's a few bands coming up right now. Injustice. There's a few good bands from our area. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the bands I'm not into personally because it's not, you know, really my type of music. But I support love them. the people. I know what they're about. They support us. We support them. And that's what it's all about. Anybody who needs help, we're going to help them out. We run a booking company called Click Booking, and we mainly book bands that we're interested in or friends. We don't like to book every band that's like, hey, can you get us a show? Because financially, sometimes we're not able to do it because that's money out of our pockets, and it's like, it's like help, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather save that money or put that money toward a friend's band who's coming through than somebody I'm not really too familiar with just because it's kind of hard because now that we're older, it's like we have to work. Yeah. <laughs> In order to keep you know which is kind of a bummer i hate it i hate how it's just like we feel like we're all like slaves to society pretty much we're working our asses off you know for a little bit of freedom i feel like sometimes which is amazing it's, it's well worth it but you know here we are working 11 months out of the year for about 18 days you know what i mean a yeah. vacation yeah. but in that moment nothing else matters because whatever i mean we're doing it and we're gonna make the best of it no matter what. Yeah. Although, you know, like I said, we are losing money. Not losing money, but we already paid for our tickets. That money is goodbye. We don't we don't want it back. We don't care if we get it back. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're pretty much gonna break even, pay our van, pay our driver, help DCA out on the road, because they're also traveling. That's who we're touring with right now. Real great dudes. Yeah. And they're not rock stars either. They're just on the road wanting to have fun and turn up pretty much their van kind of sucks so it's a little slow and the gas kind of costs a lot sometimes so but so, they're out yeah. here they're still yeah. doing it shout out to them man yeah because they're, they're doing it with us so they didn't have to but they want to so that's really cool and uh yeah other than that this is our second no third day of tour third day of tour yes we still got about 10 more shows it's gonna be fucking awesome we're gonna see how it goes even like i said if zero kids are there as long as we're having a good time and the people who are there watching us, if there's one or two, they're having a great time, it's well worth it. Yeah, that's it. yeah pretty much, but that's all we have to really say. But yeah, I mean, shout out to uh, DCA, no Walters. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here's some, oh shit, there are some of the dates. Yep, got the Timex on my wrist. <laughs> Three lines on my kicks. <laughs> we're out. Ha, <laughs>